So today I'm going to be showing you how to get through stress resolution, but without all the hassle that comes with it. I'm pretty sure you're tired of tutorials showing you stuff that you need to reapply every single time you launch the game, or even the permanent solutions like ruin your native resolution outside the game. So I'm here like giving you a balance of both. Like you're gonna get a permanent solution that doesn't ruin your native like resolution. It's basically the perfect experience when applying the true stress resolution. So first of all, if we want true stress resolution we need to apply a resolution that will allow us to do that and I saved you the trouble of like looking of what's the best one or what's the one that works and stuff like that here are the two best ones you can choose one of them basically this one give you higher quality this one give you more FPS you can research more on which one to choose you can test both if you want but for the sake of uh, making this video shorter I'm gonna be running with my personal preference which is this one and let's add it to the list so basically before you can use this on Valorant you need to add it to your screen or like to your Nvidia control panel or AMD control panel depending on which graphic card you have so if you have Nvidia you can look up a, a tutorial of how to set custom resolution on an Nvidia panel there are too many because I have AMD I'm gonna be showing you how to do it on AMD so I'm going to the AMD software and then you just go to gaming to display and then custom resolution and you're gonna see that I already have it so I'm gonna delete it for the sake of uh, this video I'm gonna be making it from scratch so here I'm gonna add uh -huh, uh -huh. and then I'm gonna do it here as well and that's our stress resolution set in there so now the next step is to open Valorant and it's not to make any changes inside the game it's just to have a, like a look so we can realize if uh, true style actually works so I'm gonna open Valorant to show you how it looks right now and then like uh, after the changes we're gonna see how it looks after the changes so before I do anything we we'll just have like uh, a look first so here I want you to remember the placement of the right game logo and the text and everything. Like everything looks nice. I want you also to go to the range and have a look before so you can like you can see the differences. So th the best way to do it is to just move forward and like try to place it at the middle and uh, your crosshair on this zone right here and remember how the view looks like at the moment. This is before applying anything. Now let's actually do what you are here for. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to run. If you don't know how to open this, you just click run. You just search run here and then boom. And then, oh, my bad. <laughs> I forgot to tell you what to type. So you wanna type app data. Uh, just type this app data. And then you go to local. Then you scroll down to Valorant and then saved and then into config. You will notice here, I have like uh, multiple like folders and you look at this one, it's called Windows, this one desktop, this one crash. We're gonna ignore all of these and we're gonna click on this one. You might have like multiple ones of like, that look similar to this one. If you do, then you wanna go into, I know it's gonna be a pain, but you would have to go into each one, into Windows and check the latest uh, date it was modified in. So the one with the latest, if you, like, this is August uh, 22, 2024. So, like, uh, you see what I mean. Like, it, this has been modified two minutes uh, ago. So this is the latest one, which means this is the one that will actually affect the in-game settings. So you want to right-click and click on Edit. It's going to open this text file. So here what's gonna, what we're going to do is here. You want to change in resolution size X. You want to put this resolution that we put you can just like copy paste but it's better to do it manually so here and then here like this and then here as well you want to do the same thing and then you click save and there is one last important part which is we're going to go to device manager and to monitor, you want to disable it. So I'm gonna enable it. So it shouldn't be like this. So the monitor driver should be disabled. Don't ask why like we should disable it. It has to do with Valorant. It's just like a Valorant thing. 
And don't worry, it's not gonna harm your monitor, it's not gonna do anything, so just disable it. And yeah, uh, it should be disabled. So now this is great. And now after we did the, these two last steps, we can just go back to Valorant. And as you see, like there are like block bars here. And that's good, which means the settings have been applied. And don't worry, I'm gonna be showing you how to remove the block bars. So here, we're gonna come to settings, into video. And basically we just wanna click on fill and that's it. Congrats, you have true stretch now. And let's go back to the range. So if you notice, it's way wider or like it's, it's like a little bit zoomed in. It's not like the previous one, and that's exactly what we want. That's that's how you do it through stretch. That's how you do it permanently, and that's how you keep your native resolution. And look at that. My resolution on the screen is not affected. It's only in the game, and it's permanent, and that's it. If you liked it, then drop me a sub and a like. See ya.